Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to look at some mail day that I got from the US. Uh, I ordered some cards off of eBay and some of them are from Instagram and I got them all shipped here in the Philippines. Let me just move these two cards right here and I'm really i was supposed to open the packs as i do the video but you know i got way too excited to see what they all look like it's a bunch of single singles and also i bought a repack guys i bought a repack that pac-man also opened so keep an eye out that's gonna be the last part of this video so keep watching for now we'll run through some of the singles that i got mainly from the 2021 2020 2021 releases this year but before all of that suggest the people at the back first this is shaktus the big shaktus this is one of the first packs i opened since i went back to the hobby the living legends acetate from illusions this also in the other inserts included and parallels included the parallel orange of the angelo russell which is also part of my pc nice and a Zion Williamson Season Highlights rookie card. Great first pack for me to open after being out of the hobby for a while. And that was last year. And then this one, this right here, with that glorious smile, <laughs> is Kobe Bryant. This is my very first Kobe card with the number 8. Sorry about my nails. I know, I know, I need, a, I need them cut. But yeah, here is Kobe Bryant's um, Y3K Upper Deck card. Bought this from a seller in an NBA group here in the Philippines. NBA card collectors group here in the Philippines. Got that for around 400 pesos or that amounts to $8. So, I mean, it's Kobe. And it's always going to be part. It's forever going to be part of my collection. <laughs> it's one of the cards that I won't sell because Kobe's my favorite player of all time. And speaking of the Lakers, starting the singles that I bought is a liftoff base, liftoff from Revolution 2021 of Anthony Davis. See, look at all that colors. This card shipped I had to sleeve it on my own and also top load it on my own because it came in in this really, really bad packaging. Look at this. Look at this. This eBay seller decided that it was a good idea to send me this. It wasn't even, it's not even the very solid type of cardboard. It's your typical ordinary cardboard. And what's weird is this is a sleeve, but the card was under the sleeve. And then it was taped like this, and then like this. Something's wrong here. And it's a die cut. Worst things could have happened, but thank luckily for the seller. Nothing bad happened to the card. All the corners are clean. The back's clean. There's no bending. Yeah, luckily. Next up, I got a couple of slam cards. I'll do one by one. First off, starting with the big fundamental, about to be inducted into the Hall of Fame in a few days. Timmy D from the Spurs. Beautiful card. The, the year was 2000 for this magazine cover. And I like the grayish blue color. Looks really nice. I wouldn't mind them incorporating that into their uniforms. Talking about the Spurs here. Very nice light blue slash grayish color. Nice. Congrats to Timmy D on the Hall of Fame career. Next up, the coldest. <laughs> Ice Trey, Trey Young. Perfect time to get this card as well because this the Hawks are soaring right now. They're climbing. And I mean, I'm happy for the Hawks because they added some pieces, some complimentary pieces for Trey Young this season. And... They deserve to get into the playoffs. But time will tell if they'll sustain their current trajectory. Hopefully they do. 
because I want to see how Trey Young fares in the playoffs. I want to see how well he handles pressure even more in the defensive end. Speaking of defensive players, look at that segue. It's really nice. <laughs> Kevin Garnett. This is my one of my favorite slam cards because of that color. Look at that yellow mustardy color. My goodness, it looks so nice. 2004 cover. KG. One of the best defensive all-around players, actually, to ever play the game. Fortunately, unfortunately, played for the Celtics, but and even defeated my Lakers in 2008. But, great player overall. And it looks really nice. And I think it's nicely centered, too. Maybe the bottom is a bit too low. But, again, it's my favorite. Very, very nice slam card. Next up, I bought a bunch of Jason Tatum cards. As you all probably know, Jason Tatum's my favorite basketball player of all time. No, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm getting distracted. Jason Tatum's one of my favorite players of all time. And he's probably... No, he's definitely my favorite player right now. Mainly because he patterns his game a lot to Kobe. But also because he backs that up. <laughs> I see the semblance, the resemblance. So I have here his Craftsman and Crunch Time. The centering's bad for this. But the Craftsman, I think, is okay. Here are the backs. Jason Tatum. And also, I have two more. <laughs> I have two more. Crunch Time and Craftsman. Very, very nice cards. And I have a lift off. Die cut, similar with the Anthony Davis, but this time it's Jason Tatum Tattoo. Jason Tatum. He's number two in this. It's also just the base, but that die cut. Shoo, so nice. Look at all that color in Boston green and a GU. Oops. A GU. This is a legit GU. This is just not this is not just a napkin. See? Let me show you that real quick. Uh there. Uh, the enclosed game worn or used material is guaranteed by Panini of America. By Panini America, sorry. There you go, guys. A J Jersey series this year of Jason Tatum. Wish it was black, though, since the Jersey is black. But I'll take it. Nice. And another GU. I got this. This is from Donruss. I think last year. Let me check. Oh, this is from 2018, 2019. Or, no, sorry. I think this is 29. This is last year. This is last year, definitely. This is a numbered. Look at that. 50 of 75. 50 of 75. Rudy Gay, Jersey Kings. I didn't know they made uh, numbered versions of these things. But yeah, it's also guaranteed by Panini America. It's a very nice Jersey Kings card for Rudy Gay. 50 of 75. Next up, I also bought some James Harden. Uh, why did I get Harden cards? <laughs> because he's actually, he was balling before he got injured. And I see this as something that might have value because this is one of his last cards in a Rockets jersey. And these are pretty damn nice cards. We have a Craftsman. Base. We have a Crunch Time. Base as well. Silver Foil. And this is my very first time. Very, This is my very first Net Marvels. First time seeing it in person as well. Of James Harden. 
looks even nicer in person. My goodness. This is my very first Net Marvels. And I'm I'm happy it came in, in it, it came in, in a good condition. Yeah, I think some of the surface issues are just from the top loader. All the rest are good. And lastly, to add to my rookie PC, my favorite rookie from this class, surprisingly, guys, surprisingly, it's Malachi Flynn. I'm trying to get even just the base cards for all of the releases this year except for Panini Draft Picks, but I might be able to get one. Uh, but yeah, to have a cert certified base card of Malachi Flynn, I'm really, really happy about that. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Now I think I only need Origins and I need... Uh, hmm. Origins and... <coughs> Ground Royale. Yeah, Ground Royale just dropped. Okay, there are more. Actually, there is the repack left and I have another single. I'll show you the single now. Surprise, surprise, it's another Kobe card. <laughs> This is a Kobe Prism card from last year. It's not graded, but it's, really, it's a really nice card. Kobe and Prism, and this is the last card that was released before that tragic death. Man, every time I think about it, it still makes me sad. We lost a great soul too soon, Kobe. And Gigi and everyone in that helicopter crash. Uh, I will. Sorry, Shaq. Nah, it's fine. I'll just put Kobe here. Prism. There. Now we move on to something that Pac Man also opened. I opened it already, so I know what's inside. But it's a Fast Break Series 3. I got serial number 110. So, yeah. It came in this package, and again, I opened it already, so that flap is open right there. But yeah, Pass Break Series 3, numbered 1 to 10. If ever the seller opens season, f sorry, Series 4, I'm gonna get another one. Because I'm I really like the addition of that slab card. Okay, let's look at the loot. There you go. Let's save the PSA graded one for later. Start with this. Pac-Man wasn't lying about that really solid plastic. Okay. Let's see, uh, I've only seen the back part and the front part. So I haven't seen anything else in between. Hopefully we get a good rookie. All right, starting off with a red, white, and blue prism of Chris Paul from his time in LA. This has been a long time. And then we have a Fred Van Vliet mosaic base. You have an old school of... Scotty Pippen from Mosaic as well. Next up. Give and go. Of Drew Holiday from Mosaic as well. Getting a lot of those Mosaic cards. Give and go. Drew Holiday. There you go. That's a good shot. And Russell Westbrook Brody. 2014-2015 sec all NBA second team prism card. This is a nice insert. It's really nice. Next up, <laughs> another mosaic Dwayne Wade, Team USA. Oh, we have a red. What's the red mosaic one? But yeah, green mosaic Dwayne Wade, Team USA. Next, another Brody, Jam Masters. There you go. And then I think these are some of the rookies. Thunder. 
Darius Baisley. I thought I thought it was gonna be it's Prism though. So I'm, I got Mosaic and Prism. I guess that's pretty good. Uh Darius Baisley has been balling this season and I hope he continues to grow. But it's an insert though. Instant impact. Next up. Oh rookie purple. Oh. Oh, the name's there already. Jackson Hayes. Okay. NBA debut from Mosaic again. Time will tell still how good he's gonna be. But I have a good feeling about him. Not a superstar, but a reliable starter for years to come. Next up, rookie from Prism. Orlando, Oklahoma City Thunder. It's Kevin Hervey. I haven't even heard of that name. <laughs> I haven't even heard of that name, to be honest. Kevin Hervey. After his first stint in OKC in an OKC uniform, a five-game trial at the 2018 Summer League, Harvey earned the high marks that any student of the game wants. He's really intelligent, said Mark. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce his last name. Coach of the Thunder squad. He's picked up on on concepts very quickly. He asks really, really good questions. Okay, Kevin Hervey. Not sure if he's still playing though. Or for what team. But yeah. Mm, Kevin Hervey. Prism RC. This might be a short print. Because like. I don't think they've been. They printed a lot of Kevin Hervey cards. Let me know in the comments. If that's the case. Similar to the Chuma Okiki situation. Since. Chuma was supposed to be a rookie last year. But since he got injured. The Magic decided to get. Quirky with it. And just, and just sign him to a. Um, developmental deal. Uh, so I don't think there is a much of Kevin Hervey just as much as there isn't much of um, Chuma Okiki okay now for the graded card okay actually now I'm gonna use you as filler I'm gonna use this thing as a filler now <coughs> okay Whoops, I think you saw it already. Silly of me. Okay. 2017 Panini Donruss Optic. Scotty Pippen. Retro Series. Let's keep that grade there. And the serial number so that you can just guess with me. Look at that card. And guys. That right there is Michael Jordan. I don't know how Panini got away with this, but technically they can't use Jordan's face anymore. But yeah, he's right there. If you can get, there you go. He's right there. That's 23. That's Michael Jordan. Clear as day. There you go. Look at that. So this is essentially a Scottie Pippen X Michael Jordan card. But yeah, this is just the base. And then look to the back. There you go. That's what the back looks like. I think centering's pretty good. Let me know in the comments if you guess it, if you guess the grade right. There you go. Closer up look. Let me know what grade I got before I reveal it. I'll give you five seconds to do it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hopefully you get it right. There's no price. Just for games. Okay, let's see. Three, two, one, nine. Okay, nine. I was expecting to see an eight, but nine. Okay, not bad at all. Okay, there you go. So these are all of my pulls from my haul in the US recently. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it. If you think it was worth it. If you think that uh, I got some good cards for a good price. I mean, I didn't talk about the price, but you know. I might still remember it. Just ask me, hit me up, comment, or whatever. And also, if you like the video, please give it a like. And also, comment down below. Whatever you want, just be nice. And also, 
uh, comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's build this community up, guys. I really, really want to, and I hope you can help me achieve building this community. I have more videos coming in soon. I know it's been very, very uh, quiet lately in my channels, and but we have some interesting stuff to open soon, and I'm excited for you to see them all. So yeah, that was my haul, and thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.